Okay, so I wanted to add this to the video. Um, I discovered another way to add your shingles. As you can see, I've got this whole side complete and most of this side. And what I figured out was easy to do was to lay my score tape directly onto the base. And if you use the top ridge of the previous one, you can kind of feel where to lay your score tape. I just kind of brush it down on there and then push it down. Then you can pull your tape up. And now you can judge where to lay your shingle. Just kind of push it across. Then trim off any extra or excess. And I, I burnish it. And if you get, if you can see this little piece where I cut it off, I just pull those off because you're not going to see them. And then this is right at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more strip on. Because it didn't come to where it was right. Um, this one didn't come up far enough. Just remember, you don't want to cross over to this area right here. And that tape came out right at the top of it. So here's my last shingle. Trim my excess. And I found it much easier this time to do it, to put the shingles on with it all flat and to trim it. it. If you have it already put on, it was difficult getting up here to trim it, to get it at the right angle and trim it close enough. So as you can see, I came pretty close, and now when this goes on top, it will cover up what it needs to. So another thing that I'm going to do with the shingles is to um, I'm going to use my first my vintage photo, which is my uh, brown distressing ink. You can also use a, an alcohol marker or a felt tip pen. And I'm going to go down the side of this and just kind of color because you do have some raw chipboard showing there. So I'm just going to try to darken this up a bit here. And you really won't see this bottom part that much. But you can see the raw chipboard showing there. So this just kind of darkens it up. last one okay and then I have it's the same distressing ink um, by Ranger and it's black soot and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna try to brush it down here and there not real heavy Just enough to add a little bit darker at the top. It just adds some dimension to the shingles. Kind of draws out the different areas. Just like that. 
And so now you can see the shingles. My uh, pad is wearing out on my... So you see it kind of gives it a little bit of a weathered look. So that's it for the roof. So the next thing would be to attach the roof and we'll get to that in just a second. So besides this main roof, we have a second roof which goes over this front part right here, um, just like this. So I'm gonna work on it next. And you'll have your piece out of the um, craft board that's folded in half. You'll have a piece out of the cardstock like this, and then two other pieces to go on the underside. And basically, we're just gonna glue those on. And we'll do that real quick. And it gets constructed in the same manner that the larger roof did. So we'll put these two pieces on. Sure they're on there real good and then we'll put and I want to go ahead and crease that just in case and then we'll add this second one I'm just gonna fold that and you don't have to worry if you get glue on this because it's gonna be covered up by the shingles and if you have not hopefully you didn't throw your scraps away from when you did the main base because these will now work for this part and we're just going to simply apply these just like we did all the way over um, on the larger base and uh, You'll want to use your your um, distressing ink around the edges of this as well. You won't need to do it on the back side because it's not going to show, but you need to do the edges, the ends, and then around one side. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will be back. Okay, so we finished our, um, our uh, shingles and we're ready to attach the roof you also should have finished the shingle or the roof part that goes right here and um, if you haven't you had a piece of the um, um, craft board you've covered it with the two single pieces and the one long piece and then added your shingles in the same manner that you did for the roof you also had this small little piece uh, with a score line down the center and cut that out and you glued this on top and then trimmed off the excess. So that's ready to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and add this one now so you can see kind of how I've done it and it fits right here. So I'm going to add some glue right on the top of here Kind of a generous amount because you'll be able to take off the excess. And then I'm going to find the back side of this and add glue to the back side here. I used a pretty good amount of glue. Then you're going to set this down so that it glues on top of 
this piece right here and to the back. And then you're just going to have to hold it for a few minutes and go ahead and wipe off your excess glue. You want to kind of hold this in place the best that you can, but hold it towards everything. Okay, now you have these uh, construction strips that we had cut out, and I've added my score tape on each side. And what you're going to do is you want to, I'm going to use both glue and construction strips to attach the main lid. So you sort of want to, well, Go ahead and uh, fold them so that the uh, score tape sides are on the outside. And then you want to take one end and kind of cut it at a pretty sharp angle so that it should fit up in here and not show. But I have to go on this side with it. And then you want to kind of measure from this point down to this point and cut it straight across and I just kind of crimp it with my finger and know that that's where it is and I'm going to go at an angle there too. Then we're going to remove this tape. Let's see. Which side? This side. And I'm going to apply this just inside that edge. So that it's kind of like that. And I'm going to come back and repeat that process on this side. I'm going to add one on this side as well. And here's the last one. Okay, so I'm going to kind of squish these down in there. I don't want to get my glue on them, really. And then we're going to come in and... Where's my glue? Oh. Just like we did on the other, we're going to add glue along all of the edges around here. And then we're going to lay our roof on top. Okay, I'm going to turn this this way. Now this is kind of tricky because it's not on a base. But if you'll get it straight and then just lay your piece, your roof on top. Then you want to turn it the best you can and check your sides and make sure that you have about the same number or same amount of space all the way around and then press your roof down and you're going to have to hold this while it dries for a few minutes. The next thing we're going to do is attach this piece Again, I tend to be a little generous down in the crease there because I know it's going to um, squish out a little bit. And you just want to make sure that it's even. Fold it down. Hold it down there. Trim off your excess.
Again, we're still waiting for this to um, dry on the front and the back. So this is dry by now. So I'm going to turn it over. And you can see inside where we had the little the construction strips. Hopefully you can see that. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull that tape off. The tape backing. And I would start with these sides first. And then you're going to just, hopefully you can see this. You're going to just push this over onto that roof section and just push it down with your fingers. Now we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side. And I know it's hard to see what I'm doing right now. I'm just removing the tape backing. And then here again, I'm just going to push this down onto the roof. That just is going to help secure it. And the same thing on these four sides. So now you know your roof is good and secure. There we go. Let me get all these pieces of tape out. And now we can continue on and add the rest of our trim. So now we can finally use these big pieces. And all you're going to do is add glue along here and all the edges and or all the back sides of it and then attach it on. So let's do that. And then you're going to shove it up there in the corner, bring it down. Kind of secure those. Push this piece down and make sure it's up in there. Push this piece down. And you can kind of push these from the inside if you want to. Now we have four of these pieces. So you're going to glue two of them together. And you're going to place this right up in this corner. So that it sits down right there. Now, if you remember, we added that, um, the, oh, the stretch, or the construction strip to connect these two pieces of roof together. You'll see that you can see a little bit of a lighter shade in there. If you want to color that in, you can. You could also cut another little piece of, uh, brown cardstock and put in there and trim it off, which is, I'm just going to use a piece that's left over from uh, what I had earlier. I got to trim this one because I didn't have it on there right. So then I'm just going to take this and set it right up in there. Make sure it's attached well, and then come through and trim off the excess. There we go. So that's all of the trim on the front. Set that aside.
side. I'm going to trim this a little bit more. There we go. And now we're going to go to the back. And we have another one of these big pieces at the back. And I think this time I'm just going to glue this top part first. I'm just going to put glue on this edge or this. Vaulted piece, I guess you could call it. Whoops. I'm going to attach it first. Set these where they go. Make sure that's up in there. Go it down. I'm going to add my other two pieces. them in here. And add this little piece in again to cover up those little areas and trim it off. Now, I want to come in and glue these on. So, there was that trim and our front trim. And now we have trim that runs along the bottom edges. So, you've got a lot of um, these extra white pieces. And you just kind of want to fill in as you go. Now, I'm going to add uh, score tape to the back of those. Just because I think that's going to be easier but you could glue it if you wanted. Now there's three really long ones. I'm gonna make sure that I don't get, grab those. Whoops, I think there are these two down here. Yeah, the three really long ones you wanna set aside because they go for the turret. And then you have these other pieces. I'm gonna use this long one on here on the side. Go ahead and get those done. Bed it up to the edge, run it along the bottom. 
bottom here, when you get to here, you'll want to trim it off. Just like that. So now we have all of our trim on, all the way around, and we can now add our trim to our turret. Now you've got, I'm going to set the, the church aside, um, you have three of these longest strips. You want to go ahead and put score tape on those. And you want to kind of put the first one in the center. I'm using a, a smaller, the smaller um, 1 16th of an inch score tape for the first one. Because it's going to go right on top of the siding that's already there. Start in the back, probably the back middle. Or you could start on the edge if you wanted. Well, start the middle. Oops. Attach it. Bend it. Press on it with your thumb. Attach it. Press that corner with your thumb. Attach it. Be sure and press it down real good as you go. Make that corner with your thumb. Come back to here. And then you want to come back to the center. And you can go overlap if you want a little ways, which is what I did. And we just want to make sure that's good and down. Let's maybe burnish it a little bit. Now the second piece you want to add the score tape to kind of down towards one side. In this case, the bottom. It's probably hard for you to see this because I've got a white background under here. But I'll show you here in a second. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. Because when you apply this, you're going to come up from the bottom, and part of this will be sticking up a little bit. You have three of these to go around. So when you apply this, don't apply it right on top of the other. Raise it up just a little bit, like that. Again, apply it all the way around. Try to keep it as straight as possible. And let's score that down or burnish that. And we have one more to add. Whoops. Now you can use the quarter inch. You just got to be really careful that you don't go beyond the edges of the strip. Otherwise, it'll be tacky and in the way. And the last one, same thing. Come up a little bit. Just about a sixteenth, I think, or yeah, about a sixteenth of an inch.
And there you go. So now you have your turret. And your turret, we need to um, add the trim on it and glue it at the bottom. Let's go ahead and add the trim on it. Yeah, these are them. So you've got four pieces that are this size and they're scored in the center. Go ahead and fold these because that's what goes on the edges. All the way around just like that and these will have to be trimmed at the bottoms yep keeps wanting to pop off so what I might do on this other on these next ones is uh, use the score tape instead. Okay, in my original um, design. I did not like the way that this fit rested on top of the um, church. So what I've done is originally this part came up and then it went straight across a little bit. So I've taken my scissors and I've gone in and just clipped that up to this line right here. And I've done that on both the back and the front. And this is going to be covered up, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Just kind of cut it with your scissors, and that'll be fine. Um, all the trim's been added here, as you can see. And I've added two construction strips to the inside. And we're going to push those outward. And then um, for the trim that's going to go here and here, we're going to put that on last. But what I did was I took one of the remaining pieces of white trim from that we had cut earlier, and I just kind of cut it in half. And then I took the piece. Here's how this trim is going to go, right like that. And to get the right size, just lay your piece up there like this. And you'll make a little mark that goes this way. And then at the center point, make another mark. And then you're going to cut that off. I would do the one on the left. And then uh, uh, attach it. And then come back and do the one on the right. You can go ahead and cut the bottom piece so you know it fits well. And then come back and we'll do that one in a minute. And we're going to do that on both the front and the back side, so you'll have plenty. So to start, let's go ahead and we're going to put glue, or actually, yeah, we're going to use glue. And put glue on this side of these construction strips. And attach it to the roof. Put a generous amount here. I'm also going to add a little bit of glue down in here that will fall down onto the roof. And a little piece up in here. Just for... Because I want this to stick pretty good. Oops. And then you're going to come back about an inch from the front and you're going to press your roof down and you're also going to press these construction strips down. And that's going to be what's going to hold your steeple on. Now 
Yeah, double check it that it's straight. If everything looks good. Then we can go ahead and apply. Let's give it a couple of seconds. We'll go ahead and do these sides first. On these sides where the construction strip is, we're going to cover the construction strip with another piece of the um, shingles. So you want to kind of try to match up where you went before and make it um, as close to what you have the existing. So you're going to have to kind of trim off a little bit of this back part. Just a little bit. And then we're going to stick it in right there. Like that. And that the tape, where the tape was, is going to hold that down. So it won't be completely exact, but it should match up pretty close. Mine's, I need to cut more of mine off. Might be better to try to glue that. I would imagine. And I am going to add some glue to this. And I'll turn this up so you can see it a little bit better in a few minutes. Yeah, I have a part of that that's not... The color is off, so I'm going to clip that off. Let that dry real good, and then you might come back with some of your um, um, distressing ink over the top of it. Let's see this one. So if you can tell how much I cut that down. I need to go down a little bit more. So there, I've cut it down that much. That's good. That's going to really hold your um, your steeple in good. This keeps wanting to poke out right there, so I'm going to push it in. And so now we can go back and add these trim pieces, like I was talking about a few minutes ago. So let's add this first one. I'm going to use my tweezers to help me get it in here right. And you just want to kind of add it as close as you can up to the roof line. And then remember we cut our second one. So we're going to lay it up here. It's 
So there, um, there's the church so far. The only thing we have now to do is the base where we're going to put our lights. If you, uh, as in my original, if you don't want to um, use lights, you can simply make, just cut a rectangle a little bit larger than your entire church, cover it with the brown cardstock, and simply glue your house onto that base, and you're done. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes, and we'll start working on the base.